It is June 24th, Saturday, 2017. It is day 156 in the Donald Trump White House regime. Today, Donald Trump attends Steve Munchkin's wedding. And as you can imagine, poor people were not welcome. Poor people were not allowed. Now, today is a new moon, so maybe... That's why Mr. Munchkin got married. Possibly a new moon is good luck. Well, this is his third try, and she's about two decades younger than him. So all I will say is, uh, you know, good luck with that. Oh, but let me clarify. No poor people are allowed to partake in the festivities, but... You are allowed to come and be a servant. I mean, how in the world could you pull off such an elaborate wedding without the servants? So yes, we must clarify. Poor people are needed to pull it all off. Please, but do not talk. Just serve the refreshments. Be seen, but not heard. And for God's sake, do not put your hands on any of the guests. So, if we do a Google on Donald Trump today, we get 348 million results in 0.73 seconds. And as we've already been talking about, Donald Trump joins the A-list crowd at Mr. Munchkin's wedding. The A-list crowd. You know that Donnie was very, very impressed being on the A-list. You see... It has to be that way. Yes, could you imagine the golden one being on the B list? Was there even a B list? VP Pence was there. Maybe VP Pence was on the B list. I don't know. All we know for sure is that no poor people were allowed to partake in the festivities. That yes, she is a Scottish model and actress. And she's about two decades younger than Mr. Munchkin. What I found kind of interesting was you could have searched the World Wide Web all day long and you were not going to find any photos of the wedding because no cameras were allowed. You see, you have to put those in a special little container. You have to probably sign a non-disclosure agreement. Wow, I bet you those rich people really like signing a non-disclosure agreement. You cannot talk about whatever Donnie Trump did. If Mr. Trump did anything foolish, there'll be no cameras. You're not allowed to talk about it. For God's sake, you're on the A-list. Be grateful that we even allowed you here. We are the rulers of the world. We are. The Donald Trump regime. And before we get done with this distasteful subject, we did look it up. And under practical Kabbalah superstitions and customs, it is acceptable to get married on a new moon. In fact, they say under Kabbalah law, it is even prudent to marry on a new moon. So there we have it. Now we know why Mr. Munchkin got married today on a new moon because, well, it's just part of the Kabbalah ritual. But what do we know? We're just poor little Gentiles tr trying to get by. But as Donald Trump is attending the A-list wedding, it looks like an American tourist was robbed and shot in Turkey. He is an Alabama man, and he was robbed at gunpoint and shot while on vacation in the Turks. Well, let's not focus on the Gentiles too much. Let's get back to the dual citizens who rule the world. Apparently, the Palestinians were not very happy with Jared Kushner. You know, the 36-year-old slumlord who was sent to the Middle East to eliminate... 2,000 years of bickering and fighting. Yes, a conflict 
that Jesus Christ himself could not fix. Well, America has sent over the chosen one, and it didn't go very well because he started to rattle off a list of Israel's demands. <laughs> I'm sorry, you cannot make this up. As he's rattling off a list of the Israeli demands, you can imagine that the Palestinian leader was furious. So, I guess the only thing left to do is to send in the A-team, Ivanka. Yes, I'm sure the Palestinians will just love to deal with Ivanka. For you see then, if the Palestinians don't want to play ball, all Ivanka has to do is take her shoes off and drive her heel through the heart of the Palestinian leader, and I'm sure he will start to cooperate more with the Israeli demands. And then Bibi could give her a big hug. All will be good. All will be good. And I'm sure Steve Bannon would agree with me. It's the right thing to do because, you know, the war fighters can take care of everything. Yes, it seems like Donald Trump says it's just best to let his war fighters fight the wars. I mean, I don't know. This is the first time I've heard of the war fighters. Has anybody out there heard the war, war fighters? I don't know. Is this like a new unit? A new army? Please, if there's anybody out there who's heard of the war fighters, please leave a comment and let me know because it seems like this is a whole new unit to the military structure that I'm not familiar with. Who knows? Maybe Steve Bannon just created it out of thin air, like our money. Well, that does bring up a good point, doesn't it? I mean, it's nice when you can just push a button and you can create a trillion dollars. I mean, you can buy all the war fighters you want. I mean, who would ever question our authority over the world if we could just push a button? And there we have a billion dollar bomber, stealth bomber, or whatever. That's something to ponder. Okay, let's get back to the news because it looks like uh, they're still not allowed to have cameras or videos during the press briefings with Sean Spicer. So now they're reduced to making cartoons, little cartoon pictures of Spicer. It's sort of funny. They're really getting scared, all these people in the banking industry, the Sephardic banking industry, which is connected to the government. They're getting scared, so they don't want cameras in the Capitol. They don't want cameras in anywhere. Bernie Sanders and his wife, they're being investigated because they're part of the Sephardic banking cartel. They don't want all the little snowflakes to know that, but if you are in government, you are part of the Sephardic banking cartel. It's all tied together. There was only one man out there, only one American hero, who stepped up and confronted the Federal Reserve Banking Cartel and lived to tell about it. That was Dr. Ron Paul. Dr. Ron Paul was the only American who fought the Fed and lived to tell about it. Well, American politicians, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a politician, if you're in Congress or the Senate, you start bad-mouthing the Federal Reserve Banking Cartel, please, whatever you do, do not get on an airplane because you know what's going to happen. So we'll just keep on looking for some interesting news. Oh, talking about the Fed. They say there the Fed cannot hold on to the financial Ponzi scheme much longer. Yes, who knows, maybe in July or August they'll come clean with this Ponzi scheme they're running. So we'll just keep on looking for some interesting news. You know that what they want to go to is the blockchain cyber currency. They've been experimenting with uh, Bitcoin and other blockchain cyber currencies. They've been experimenting because they know the Federal Reserve banking note is over a hundred years old and quite frankly I'm getting a little tired of it. When they can push a button and have 20 billion dollars and I have to walk around picking up the breadcrumbs, well you can imagine how us Gentiles are getting just a bit angry. 
So, and then the younger people, they're going to the cryptocurrency. And uh, so let's, since we're talking about the Sephardic banking system, let's go on to some more interesting news today where we find that two Italiano banks are failing. They are going to shield the senior creditors because, well, if you're protected, if you got juice. In Italy, if you got juice, you must be protected. The main thing here is there are big, big cracks showing in the Sephardic banking system. The Ponzi scheme has been going on for way, way too long. And I can tell you that these are the dominoes that are going to be set in motion. The government can only hold up these dominoes for so long. The circus is being exposed. I mean, you can only run the Comey Trump circus so long, and then even if Donnie does decide to take North Korea off the face of the map, I mean, we're still going to be left with a corrupt banking system that is failing. So no, ma no matter what they do, no matter how hard they try to divert our attention away with the Comey circus or the Korean circus, or any other circus, sooner or later they're going to have to deal with that huge, huge issue of a corrupt banking system where the Gentiles get spit on and our masters laugh all the way to the strip club. Let's keep on looking for some more interesting news because, you know, if you want a cheap flight, all you have to do is book a flight on JetBlue. Now, you know, the airplane might fill up with some smoke, but hey, you got a good, cheap ticket. And you also got to have that pleasant experience of going through the TSA security checkpoints at our beautiful Third World Banana Republic airports. Yes, please do not complain, Gentiles. You are living in the top-of-the-line Zion American Empire, where we have airports. They come complete with top-of-the-line TSA security agents who will go through all your bodily fluids and, well, let's not go too far into that pleasant experience of going on vacation. Let's talk about the thousand Uber employees who want their CEO back. A thousand Uber employees. I mean, I wonder how many... Uber employees there are. I mean, they all drive their own vehicle, right? I mean, you have to drive your own vehicle. You have to use your own gas. They must have probably a million drivers, or I don't know, but they must have quite a few. This is interesting news. Uh, U.S. Special Envoy to Afghanistan and Pakistan quits right before they're going to send a shitload of soldiers over there. Yes. Donald Trump doesn't really talk about it because he's off on some wedding, but he's pretty much left that up to the war fighters. Yeah, okay, well maybe the war fighters are the generals. He's left that up to the generals, how many troops they're going to send over there. The problem with giving that kind of responsibility to the Pentagon is they can barely hold on to their snacks. They cannot even keep track of their snacks, let alone what? Was there like five or six trillion dollars went missing in the Pentagon? So, Donald Trump handing over the country to the Pentagon and the war fighters, just to me, it just doesn't seem like a good idea. Now, here's something I want to point out. When you go through uh, Yahoo News, you see the difference? It says sponsored there, and then there's news here. You see, when it says sponsored there, that's pretty much fake news. I mean, I tell you right here, look at this. Chuck Norris was in the Air Force. He studied Tang Sudo over in Korea. He was in the Air Force. He was not in the Army. So whenever you go to Yahoo News and you see it says sponsored there, just forget about that. Don't ever click on sponsored. It's all just fake news. Okay, we'll just keep on looking for some interesting news uh, apparently, we have a bumbling ex-CIA officer who is charged with selling secrets to China. I wonder if he was affiliated with the Clintons. Oh, yes. 
They're able to catch the bumbling ones, but the ones that work with Clinton, well, they don't really investigate them. Uh, the White House is still outraged over Johnny Depp's little joke. Wasn't very funny. The Hollywood people, they think they're very, very funny. They even have these elaborate theater where they assassinate Donald Trump in a theater. And uh, yes, the Hollywood people, they're not very happy, the Hollywood people. No, they're not happy at all with Donald Trump. And to tell you the truth, there's not very many people at all that are happy with Donald Trump. The only person I can think of right now who seems to be okay with Donald Trump is uh, Mr. Munchkin, because uh, Donnie was on the A, A list. And so I'll leave you with this. If you plan on getting married, since you know we, we now have rulers, our new rulers in America, they study the Kabbalah. And if you're going to get married in America, you might as well follow the practical Kabbalah superstitions and customs, and it is prudent to marry on a full moon, or a new moon, yes, a new moon, yes, that's what it's all about, a new moon. Oh, and did I mention that there was like this uh, huge factory that broke ground today that it employed, you know, that could employ 10,000 deplorables? Did I mention that? No, because it didn't freaking happen, that's why.